So what's going on weightlifters? Alex Los Angeles here, but I'm from Jersey. Los Angeles is just my last name, guys. So I want to talk about bad guys and what I want to do to improve it and where I want to try to get. Give you guys a couple tips, you know, on areas you can work on and areas that I, that I need to work on. Little weak parts. So currently that's how my back is looking. You know, definitely need a, a lot more traps, more thickness, more lower lats. Get a nice, more of a cobra kind of looking back. Have a decent back, in my opinion, I think. Especially for four years training, it's not too bad. And, you know, something I want to get to is something like Robbie Robinson, old school back. Traps are looking crazy. Something like that. I want my traps to be the biggest part of my back. Really stick out. And that thickness. Definitely want to get something like that. Maybe 10, 15 years training. Naturally, maybe, of course, I'm not going to reach that level of, of thickness, but get close. Try my best. Don't hate the game, guys. Hate your genetics. And then just put in the extra work and see if you get something. So let me take you through my current back routine. Not so much different from my old back routine, except that as I used to do chest and back. Now I'm doing back and shoulders separate. Right now I'm gonna cover the the back part. So I really warm up guys with pull ups. Always put pull ups wide. Just to get a warm up one two sets, just to warm up. Then I head to deadlifts. Doing deadlifts again. Haven't been doing it for months. Started off at three plates. As my heavy set, I warm up you know with about five a plate, two plates, two plates and twenty five. Little by little, go like that. Keep my reps really low, five, seven, eight reps, nothing really high. Keep it really heavy. And right now I'm at uh, three plates. Something I'm gonna do is just use basically a uh, uh, neutral grip, so no hook grip. Try to get my grip a little bit better, and it makes the exercise a lot harder. So I'm doing that. It's gonna start using some chalk too, just so I'm <clears throat> just to get more of my back into it, and and just the fact that you you won't have enough grip to to hold the bar. Anyways, besides that, guys, I do deadlifts definitely helps. Not necessary, you know. I haven't been using it for almost an entire year, and I still saw I still saw good results. Then I headed back to to pull ups. I do you know three sets here wide neutral and then really close grip and pretty soon I start adding you know a fourth set eventually once I get down my a better form better technique start really feeling the muscle that's something I really focus on guys really working out that muscle so always one more than one way to progress you can always change something then after that I end up uh, going to lap pull downs but usually I do regular lap pull downs but I, I honestly guys my lats are too big for my frame. You know, I, it's unproportionate. I, I definitely need to get my chest bigger and maybe my lower lats bring them up a little bit more before I make them any wider. So something I'm going to do, guys, is work more behind the neck. <clears throat> Sorry. Behind the neck, lat pull downs, hits a little bit of the lower traps. And it, it does hit your lats, but I'm not. I, I'm focusing more on width. So I'm gonna try that exercise. Something I never done before is behind the necks. Definitely trying that. And then after that, guys, I'm going into seated, uh, wide grip. Well, kind of shoulder width uh, for the for the lower lats. Really hitting into the stomach. On the video, I used, you know, uh, palms up. Try using under, um, palms under hand. Just the fact that you'll target more of your your lower lats. Really good exercise, and I'm definitely gonna put that one in there. Really kills three sets. All the exercises are three sets, and slowly I'll work on, like I said, to, to my fourth set, which is well, probably I'll make a drop set on as I get stronger. Then I move on to one of my favorite, it's definitely bent over rows. Again, same thing if you want to hit your lower lats, which is something I should have done in the video, but I, I do two sets of uh, overhand and two sets of underhand. The underhand really targets that, that lower lower lat area in my opinion that's where I feel it the most. Where you feel it the most that's where it's targeting. And it might be different for everybody. So I do that. I try to keep my feet close. Something I got from Robbie Robinson. I'll leave a link to his back routine guys. He shows you all his back routines. 
in a, in a video on YouTube that I saw very interesting and helpful. So you guys can check that out. He'll, he'll explain all the exercises real perfectly. So I'll have the link right below in the video. Definitely check it out. Worth the watch. And then, yeah, so I keep my feet close. Really get a, a nice stretch and pull. Try to get that, feel that thickness. A nice roll guide with my elbows. That's something he talks about a lot. Guiding with your elbows and really contracting that back. Once I finish that, I go to T-Rows, do a close grip on that one, try to fill those those traps, and, and again, try to work on the upper back thickness. Something that I really need, something I really want, and I'm going to get. And as far as rep ranges, I'm using 12 rep ranges. If I stop at 9, I'll rest 5, maybe 10 seconds, finish up those 3 reps. Nice and slow and controlled. Makes the workout so much harder. And it's really, really a good way to grow hypertrophy. A lot of bodybuilders like Ulysses Jr., Arnold Schwarzenegger, they like using high reps, sometimes even 15, 20 reps to make their muscles bigger. You know, I used to be lifting very heavy, didn't see much growth. Started using 8 to 12 reps, started seeing all kinds of gains. A lot of gains. You see the arms almost getting my peak, especially after this boat, guys. I'll definitely have some peak action going and once I start working on this head right here this head will give you a lot of size but this one will give you the peak and that's one that I haven't been really working on so it's close grip anyways out of this out of the subject right here that's my back routine guys really try to squeeze that muscle always remember you could progress by using slower you know slower rep ranges less uh, more tempo one to three tempo one to two one to two start with that Keep increasing it, always making it harder for yourself. Anyways, I'm talking a lot of shit. Just like the video. You don't have to, but if you want to, share it. And remember, guys, don't hate the game, hate your genetics. Talk to you guys next time. We'll try to make my shoulder video, which is that I, I do shoulders, back and shoulders. We'll cover shoulders probably tomorrow. Share a couple tips with you. One of my favorite parts and one of the parts that I actually improved a lot on in the past year. Later, guys.